Hey guys, how's it going? The Sofa Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. What I'm going to focus on this week is going to be my experience through the COVID-19 pandemic as a nurse working in the healthcare sector. I am an ER nurse, and I just want to say that it has been a very challenging time for many. I had recently left a community tab, identified myself as an ER nurse, and I saw a lot of support, and I just want to say thank you to everyone that is wishing me well. And I also had a request that I can update people from time to time my experiences throughout all of this. I just want to first take a few steps back and just talk about a little bit of the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. So very basically, the virus that is causing this is the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and the disease it causes is COVID-19. This is a very severe respiratory disease, especially when it affects elderly this can make it so that many people are going to need to be on ventilators all at once. The healthcare system is not able to accommodate that all at once, and that is what makes it so concerning. This virus can be spread by air, and also it takes 5 to 14 days for you to show symptoms. So you're spreading it in the air, and you also do not know that you have it, so that's why it is able to just spread so quickly. Hopefully everyone is able to follow the social distancing and just try to take it very seriously. Just because you feel well does not mean that you do not carry it and you could not spread it to someone that is high risk. I highly urge everyone to just try to stay home if they can and just try to slow down the spread. What we need to do is try to make the spread slower so that the capacity of the healthcare system can be able to support treating this disease. If we get it all at once, we're not going to have a capacity to be able to treat it, and there's going to be very many negative outcomes. So we just try to need to do everything we can do to slow down the spread. But since we were not prepared for this, because it's not something you can predict, it's just very concerning that many of the local hospitals, including my own, are running out of personal protective equipment. They are starting to run out of N95 masks, which are used to treat airborne diseases such as tuberculosis. What it does is it helps prevent you from catching it because it is a respirator mask that is airtight and will prevent any of the disease getting into your respiratory tract. That is the current recommendation that you use those, especially during aerosolized procedures, and many of the hospitals are running out. Something as simple as a basic face mask for someone on influenza, droplet precautions. Many institutions are starting to run out of those, and people are starting to need to use scarves and bandanas to be able to protect themselves. Something as simple as hand sanitizer, many places are running out of. And even at my own institution, the pharmacy department is going to start making hand sanitizer and refilling the bottles we have. Unfortunately, this disease has scared many people, and this led to many people panic buying, and also stealing supplies from the hospital. I just urge everyone, if you have an excess supply of supplies, especially personal protective equipment, that you consider donating it to your local healthcare organizations. We need to protect the people that are going to keep you healthy and safe throughout this pandemic. I just want to say that luckily I haven't firsthand experienced a situation where we have not been able to handle all of the cases, but it is something that could definitely happen and be very scary. All I can ever imagine is the worst case scenario is if we have so many people that require mechanical ventilation, which is going to be on a ventilator, but we do not have the ventilators or the staff. That is going to be something that is very scary and something that has been seen in other countries like Italy. I just really hope that we can slow down the spread and be able to take social distancing very very seriously and just try to slow this down. I do not want to ever see someone have to make a ch choice over who gets a ventilator and who does not. I just want to say that this is something that is going to take time and hopefully we're going to be able to see an improvement with some warmer weather, maybe some more ventilation when people can open up the windows, and hopefully a vaccine will come out. But one thing that I have noticed is that Many of our epidemiological numbers must not be very accurate. At least in my own institution, we are able to test for COVID-19, but we cannot test everyone. We can only test the most critical cases because of the fact that we do not have the equipment to be able to test on site, and it is a very long turnaround, and we cannot possibly test everyone. So I strongly feel that more people have it that don't 
Luckily, it doesn't strongly affect younger people, and many people can have very mild symptoms, but it can be easily spread to the high-risk group, and we need to protect them. I just want to say this is going to be a long road ahead of us, but hopefully we can all stick together. One thing I've always loved about the Locksport community is how close-knit of a community we are, and we're always willing to help out anyone in need. I just urge you, if you have any supplies you feel that could be helpful to a local hospital, please reach out to them and be able to offer your help. I have read some hospitals are having community members knit masks or just do anything to help protect their workers. But I just want to say that this is a really concerning time, and luckily I have not experienced firsthand an instance where it was a such a full hospital where you weren't able to care for everyone, but I do fear that we will get there one day. But I just want to say thank you to everyone that has been able to help support and being able to help slow down the curve on this disease. I just want to say it is a very serious disease because this is a virus. We cannot treat it with antibiotics, so our treatments are just so limited. It is a disease that you mo mostly have to ride out the course. It is made more difficult because intubation is usually the safest option, but that takes a very advanced skill. You cannot use easier methods like BiPAP mask or high flow nasal cannula because those put you very risk because they can aerosolize the virus and spread it further. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. So this has been a really quick update on my experience with the COVID-19 disease. My hospital is slowly running out of personal protective equipment, and many other hospitals have run out or are about to run out. Please consider supporting your local hospitals if you can. But either way, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.